Good afternoon. I'm speaking from the parish office and it's really good to give you this welcome by a little video that I'm making. Really just to say thank you for all the messages we've had of uh, making sure everything's okay at the church and lots of people be messaging one another and making sure that they're looking out for one another and that's really great. So thank you for doing that. Um, also to say, as you know, the church is closed until uh, who knows when, at least another three weeks, I think, uh, is looking very likely. So we're finding new ways to be in touch with one another and communicate. And I hope that some of you may find this uh, helpful and uh, if only just to see one another a little virtually face to face. So um, it's a difficult time for everyone, of course, and we're going to, as I say, try and experiment with communicating with people a little bit. We won't be having any services in the church and we won't be streaming any services. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the time where we can be back together again and celebrating during this Easter tide. I'm going to be making each week um, a short video of a homily for each Sunday, looking at the um, Sunday readings and thinking a little bit about the theme as we travel through this Easter tide until, of course, we can meet again. Um, thank you to all those who've been working very hard uh, to make sure that people are connected. Um, a lot of the stuff I don't know about, which is really good, because it means that people are getting on and phoning their neighbours and people you know really well at St Giles Church and beyond, of course, and wider family and friends. And really want to thank everyone who's been helping in that particular way. Also, you may have heard that the work of the food bank um, in the parish hall is um, much expanded because the local authority have been bringing food there to distribute. There's all kinds of uh, activity going on there and I'm really grateful to Felicia and um, her team of people and volunteers who've been helping with that. Um, the local councillors and people in the um, local Covid group um, on the WhatsApp have been really amazing and new technology is being used, of course, to keep in touch with, with neighbours and friends and family and people who are most vulnerable. So we're really pleased that that's worked. And now we've got another three weeks where we um, have to do more of the same and look after one another. And of course, we're beginning to think about um, family and friends who are wider. I've been sadly involved with uh, preparation for some funerals which are coming up and we think of family and friends of those who have sadly died and we pray for all the nurses in King's College Hospital especially who are working away um, really remarkably under amazing conditions to care for those, especially those who've been newly bereaved. Thank you to the local funeral directors and everyone who's using their skill um, and amazing generosity and human compassion and it's a really fantastic and very moving effort. So I just wanted to send this short message to look out for other messages that will be on here, um, little videos of homilies and things like that, that from time to time we'll be able to put up. If any of you uh, have got any um, bad hair day photos, why not? send them to me and we'll see whether we can uh, distribute those or put them on WhatsApp or whatever it might be. And humour is playing an important part as we help one another to really understand what's going on with this coronavirus um, pandemic in as much as it's keeping us at home and with trying to work out what that means about staying away from our family and friends and all those connections which perhaps we took for granted are now becoming much more important than real and so we pray for God's strength for you for your family and friends God is with us God journeys with us Christ at this time of Easter tide of course is with us in the fullness of his humanity he died on the cross for us and is risen again and lives in us and through us and in our communities Bless you.